contest. And they're on the way with Terry Lamb starting proceedings. And there's the new man in the club, Coleman, getting it away straight away. Coleman, of course, originally listed as a fresh reserve, but with the reshuffling of the South Sydney side, finds himself in the first 13. Expect some fiery exchanges up front. The South Sydney try to clear from their own quarter line. Here's Olchen. Immediately a penalty out of Canterbury. Those players in front of the kicker. So Canterbury will uh, get the first penalty of the match and Lamb will try to find touch. And he finds it just short of the halfway mark. Now what can the Bulldogs do? The sergeant gets about eight metres inside the South Sydney half and the, again another penalty will go. It'll be Les Davidson who's been called out. Davidson in there. Well, the uh, State Bank replay just sees him getting a little bit fierce, and there he's still mouthing off at the referee, but uh, all quiet in the Western Front. So the Bulldogs come up with the penalty. And now the tap from inside the quarter line, getting pressure for South Sydney as Sergeant is caught, only about 20 metres out. Mortimer's gone straight through his legs and touched by a South Sydney player, so the tackle count restarts. That's uh, Thomas who will play it. Now Tunks. And 18 metres out. Mortimer. Showing the dummy and getting it to Gillespie, who couldn't handle it. It's been picked up by Bronco Jura for South Sydney. And he too is caught now on his own quarter line. Fennick from dummy half. Made five metres. He's slow to get to his feet. And again, another penalty, this time to South Sydney. There's the Canterbury defence up inside the five metres. And it's a very groggy Mario Fennick. He copped a very heavy hit from Steve Folkes and Gillespie. And he obviously took a, a knock to the head. Well and truly in Disneyland, the South Sydney skipper. Just have a look at the hit. Well, what a swinging arm from, uh, from Peter Tunks walking into the Sydney football stadium. So South hit the penalty and fine touch just inside the Canterbury half. Ellison taps and kicks straight away. Sends Olchen back for it. He's 10 metres out from his own line. Caught by Jura. And he'll play it just about 18 metres out. go there. And all of them getting a pass to Lamb. Again, using the kick early. Turning Souths around. Here's Maven with the ball right on the halfway mark. The defence holds him. Now Coleman. Ten metres inside the Canterbury half. Davidson. Fennick seems to have recovered okay. Chisholm now. 35 metres out. Coleman. A grubber kick for touch, but it's not, well, it's not for touch. It's for uh, Olchen, in fact. Short on runners chasing that as Olchen is able to get out about 15 metres before he's put down. Mortimer. Now, folks. Right on the quarter line. Lamb to Gillespie. Trying to bump off one, get it back to Lamb. Which is who's going to kick that ball. Finally got a long ball out to folks and now uh, running strongly. There's Darren McCarthy. Back inside. Goes Paul Dunn, but that was a solid hit on him. Last tackle now for the Bulldogs. Mortimer, the switch of play. And he finds touch. 18 metres out. Yes, Lamb showing on the State Bank uh, replay that he uh, hasn't lost touch with that right boot of his. 
up along the sideline about 18 metres, a very good kick. And still early days, both of these sides feeling each other out in defence. The kicks trying to get out of their own territory on very early tackles. Dejura, good footwork, just outside his own quarter line. Phil Blake motion his forwards to come around. David Boyle accepts the instructions. Strong defence from Joe Thomas. There's Davidson on the charge, straight at the Canterbury defensive line. Well, and plenty of feeling. Threatening to erupt Mario Fennig with plenty of, to say to Peter Tunks. Well, look at Davidson, the State Bank replay. He comes in, lifts the knee. That's the thing that brought uh, him a little bit undone. He's got a bit of a right-hand forearm jolt from uh, Paul Dunn. But Davidson's going to have to watch that charge that he does because uh, a few players have been cautioned by referees in recent seasons when lifting the knees coming into the tackle. Well, the penalty has gone South Sydney's way. Ellison to look for touch. Bill, we've only just seen on the one occasion Canterbury stretched the ball wide and they caught South Sydney out. Yes, they did. South Sydney notorious for poor adjustment in defence in the centres. I think you'll find Canterbury work the ball to the centre and then look for, for advantages down the edges, down the sidelines of the field. The other thing, Graham, is I think you'll see South Sydney really test this new Canterbury fullback, Jason Alchin. He's only tiny. They'll put plenty of bonds up to him and try and get over the top of him. Well, they're just working their way through the forwards, just outside the Canterbury quarter line. We'll soon see if they'll test Alchin out. De Jura. Shaped as if he might have looked for the kick for the outside backs, just went alone. This time it's Ellison from dummy half. He looks and finds Mario Fennick. Short gap, but it quickly closed. Peter Tunks was the man that came to grips with Fennick. Coleman now. Here's the kick for the outside backs. It's for the wing of Adam O'Neill. And he wraps up Sandy Campbell. Well, McCallum has got him for being offside. Just in front of the kicker, it was a line ball. Well, <laughs> we're not going to be able to judge on this, but uh, if he was onside, he's one of the fastest players in rugby league. There wouldn't be any doubt about that, but uh, the referee was on the spot and ruled him offside. Very quick in his decision, McCallum. Trying to crib a few yards is Joe Thomas. The restart. Mortimer. Into the dummy half roll. Done. Heavy tackling in the forwards. Mortimer with a little chip kick. Tunks is the man that's tried to run through and read it. It was just far too short though. Andrews coming up with possession. De Jura. Chisholm. Look back inside. Well, he's going to call some players out here. Chisholm copped a bit of a serve from a couple of players in that tackle. Here he is, Chisholm on the State Bank replay coming through. There's Tunks winding up to give him one, and does. And uh, that might uh, certainly get him a, uh, a caution, whether or not it's going to be five minutes in the sin bin. He's been threatened with it. Well, he's the Canterbury skipper today, but it hasn't curved his aggression in the front row. And well, mean looking good at Tunks today. It sets the scene, really, doesn't it? I mean, if your captain's doing that sort of thing, it's a fair game for everyone else to have a go. 30 metres out, Ellison. Very confidently. Good start for the goal kicker this afternoon. And South Sydney to the lead. Two points to nil over Canterbury. And Boyle. And across to uh, Darrell Neville. Boyle again from dummy half. Last tackle now for South Sydney. Uh, he's ruling that he's lost it. So a scrum will go down about uh, 30 metres out. Boyle's one of the players in the South Sydney pack, and there are others too that you can expect no histrionics from when something goes wrong. He dropped the ball, he got up and got on with the job. Scrum work by Mortimer. Here's Lamb. Must get on the outside of Dura, but Dura hangs on to him. McCarthy. Three South Sydney defenders to him. And Tunks. And a big pardon's there as Tunks ran onto the ball. And Thomas slipping the ball up nicely. And then finally up to Sandy Pierce. Sandy uh, Roberts and he's in the score. Sandy Campbell will get it in a minute. Sandy Campbell.
Campbell in the corner. Quick hands from Canterbury. Yes, almost the perfect rugby league try of that. They always were on the outside of the defence. You can see the quick hands here. Thomas goes down on one knee as he's tackled, but gets the pass away before the hand or arm holding the ball came in contact with the ground. So the referee was completely right. Out there to Sandy Campbell, and Sandy Campbell's pace just put him on the outside of the defence. Again, we'll see it. The uh, long cutout pass, the pass that went to Thomas. Thomas is a useful player on the open. He got a pass away despite the fact that he was held. Gets it then on to Tony Curry, and Curry offloads it there to uh, Campbell, and Campbell's in for a very good Canterbury banks down try. Andy Campbell, 21-year-old printer. Terry Lamb from way out. And, oh, bad luck for him. It's hit the upright. So the score remains. Canterbury makes down four and South Sydney two. Ellison on the restart for South Sydney after a smart reply from the Bulldogs. Working away, as Bill Anderson mentioned before, the gaps coming out wide in the South Sydney back line. The try scorer, Sandy Campbell. Back out to the quarter line. Forward quickly on the run around. Peter Tunks heavily involved in this first half. Mortimer just about living in the dummy half roll for the Bulldogs. Trying to get these forwards started off the passes. Often missing the first runner. Picking up a second man. Again, they search out wide for this weakness in the centres. Cut out balls, it was DeJura, the 5'8", that had to read that one to stay out wide. Again, he brings off the tackle this time on Gillespie. Lamb, down a short line side, the little kick will just roll into touch short of the halfway line. Plenty of chat from Greg McCullum. South Sydney come up with possession. Dura, Neville, tries to get outside Curry, who comes and picks him up low. Dura with no support. Just short of the halfway line and right in midfield. Ellison, standing wide looking for runners, but that ball come off a rebound, accidental, Peter Tanks offside. The ball came at him very quickly. Yes, it was a reflex catch, really. The ball came to him instantaneously before he could make, a, uh, make up his mind up that he was in an offside position. He probably would have done the same had it uh, not come to him quite as quickly. Anyway, the penalty goes to South Sydney. Give them a chance to pick up a good position on field play here, Ellison. This kick should put them down around the quarter line of the Bulldogs. Just outside, Davidson. Goes without it. Boyle. Solidly met by Thomas and Tunks. Chisholm. Through the forwards. Just setting play towards the post. Fans calling for the penalty. Fanick. Switch for Boyle. The dummy. Ten metres out now from the Canterbury line. The chant going up for South. Dura. That ball was knocked down by Darren McCarthy. And McCullum has picked them up for the knock-on. Yes, yeah, see it again on the State Bank replay. The pass was knocked down. McCarthy was quick, very quick to lob on it. But uh, the referee will give the scrum feed to uh, Coleman. Here he goes. They try to work a move. With Andrews in the lock forward position. McCullum not happy. Feet across from Joe Thomas. And Mortimer handed the ball back there almost as if he was at a garden party. Did you see that? Quick tap from Andrews, trying to catch Canterbury unawares. They were set. McCullum screaming at the Canterbury side to get back. Coleman, no wide for Blake. They have the overlap. Great overlap. Long bottom. Simple, they just open right up. Dummies and switches of play. And the pace of Blake straight out to Bruce Long bottom through a yawning gap to come up with Sassini's first try. A beautifully worked try, a try that's obviously been 
put under the microscope at training. There were players running in different directions. But the long cutout pass there to Longbottom was the one that really put that man with the pace into the uh, into the clear. And didn't he love it? Stood on his head at the end of it. Now see it from here. You've got a player coming across the ruck. He doesn't get it. Out it goes to Blake. Blake gets looks on the outside. Punts the ball out to Longbottom. He goes straight and hard. Lamb dives at him. Uh, it looks like the fullback there too was Alton was there in time but unable to stop his momentum but he gets the ball down. Good try. Well, you were talking about Gardner's racks, the landscape gardener, Bruce Longbottom coming up with the try for South Sydney. Yes, I was talking about garden parties, but uh, I'm a bit of Paul, but not a full shock to see Mortimer <laughs> being so uh, beautifully mannered to hand the ball to Coleman there a little while ago. 100 percent Very confident kick, the first one from Allison. struck that one quite so well so the score will stay the same South Sydney with a two-point lead 6-4 over Canterbury Lamb down for uh, Phil Blake straight to Phil Blake and linking up with O'Neill and O'Neill's made an awful mess of it has been picked up by the Bulldogs Gillespie has it Blake did very well to stop Gillespie getting a pass away there. Loose passing from Canterbury, but uh, Sargent's able to pick it up and take play back inside the, the uh, South Sydney quarter. It's a fine run from him. He's only 12 metres out by the time he's grounded. Pressure now for South Sydney as Thomas runs from dummy half, and he's linked up with McCarthy. A pass forward. that looked forward was forward by a mile. Yes, the straight back replay just picks that up, uh, and it was about a metre and a half forward that pass out to uh, Thorne. Great misfortune for them, but uh, the referee was on the spot. And that's an excellent opportunity. Let's slip by Canterbury. Sounds to come up with possession. Both sides looking decidedly weak when the ball was flung wide. Well, he was picked up a few minutes ago, Terry Lamb, for losing the ball now for trying to take possession away from Jura. Ellison to look for touch. Now oh, it's a good kick too. 3-2 the scrums to the Rabbitohs. The penalty 7-4. Davidson. One-hander back for Fennec. Coleman. Quickly out, Jura, wrapped up by Lamb and Curry. Boyle, long bottom. Two folks around his legs. Yes, well, in the uh, reserve grade, it was uh, a very good late win to the South Sydney side by 26 points to 16. And they came up with a sound uh, game two in the under 21, 16 to Canterbury, six. And now they go wide in the top grade. Davidson finding Chisholm. Coleman on the blind. Using up Phil Blake. And last tackle now for South Sydney. Coleman with plenty of time. Just puts it down to Alshon. He's fumbled it back into the end goal. Maven has accelerated. He beats him. And Maven comes back again. McCarthy trying to ease the pressure for the Bulldogs. Mortimer, a little dart from dummy half, panic in pursuit, and tries to drag him across touch. In fact, he does get a knee across the sideline, but McCullum felt that he was sufficiently held before being taken over the touch. Yes, I am inclined to agree with him. Mario Fennick had him in the collar thing there and they actually pushed his leg down on the line so I think that was a justifiable penalty. They didn't make much out of the penalty. It was only a yard in from the sideline. 6-4 <laughs> as the Bulldogs get another six tackles. And some treatment going in there from the Rabbitoh pack. It's brought the touch judge in. There was Chisholm, Davidson and Boyle all involved in the tackle on Mark Sargent. It'll be interesting to see who the touch judge calls out here. Well there's Sargent going hard and straight. And now, uh, well, there's a little bit of head massage there from Boyle. It was probably the one that's going to uh, get the main part of it. But well, he's not among the group being cautioned. I think it was Les Davidson. In fact, Rex, the man that uh, was called out for the, the hint of a headbutt. 
Well, he had his head into his shoulder and... Uh, he tried to lift it up. He, you know, like whether he did or not, whether he deliberately intended a headbutt, I don't know. I think you've got every right to be judged to be innocent in those situations if you've gone in low down. I think if he was in the ring, he might have got a warning from the referee. If he did in the ring and did that Fennec with Fennec, Fennec and Battery. <laughs> Mortimer. Trying to dart and weave down the blind side. Sergeant again now, tracks the defence. Inside the South Sydney half. Folks. Lamb. Kicks for the deep in goals. Hoping that that ball will stay in play. It looks as though it will. Curry's moving down quickly to try and trap Adam O'Neill. As is Terry Lamb. He beats Lamb. And just manages to get back in play. Good work from Adam O'Neill. Coleman. Met his match in Peter Tucks. Neville. Using up plenty of tackles and only about eight metres from their own line. Ellison. Quickly with the kick. It's a good one too. Rushing towards this touchline, but it bounces back. A good bounce on this occasion for Canterbury. Alshon beats Ellison. Can't beat Andrews. Mortimer calling for a quick ball for the backs. Campbell, Lamb. Looking to link up with Curry. Not to be. Campbell again. Wrestled to his feet. Thomas. Right on halfway. Tunks looking for support. Overhead pass. Folks was met subtly by Chisholm. And when he unloaded that ball for Mortimer, he come and seen him slight knock on by the Bulldogs. So it's going to go down right in centre field. Here's South Sydney with it. Andrews will play it. Now Jura. Neville. Play just inside the South Sydney half. Chisholm. He's been doing a lot of work for Chisholm. He has. I don't think either pack's got over the top of the other one in this first half. I thought they might go on with it for 10 or 15 minutes, but they've been going at it very hard right from the word go. Well, that ball bounced beautifully for Coleman. Great kick. Now, Davidson is not packing into this scrum. Well, the scrum's not going to have the chance to set. Davidson was standing well out of the pack. But in any case, the Rabbitohs get the penalty from the scrum. They get the penalty, but Coleman has had a bit to say. <laughs> and still is. So the tap from just inside the... Uh, Canterbury quarter. In fact, it's right on the quarter as Fennick takes it. Here's Coleman now, Dura, and away to Chisholm. Coleman again. Back for uh, Andrews. Dura. A crisscrossing here. Ellison will play it. Davidson straight up the middle. Finally hold it only about three metres out from the Canterbury line. Coleman, a long pass beautifully picked up and quick hands from Longbottom. O'Neill having difficulty picking it up. Some very quick handling out there. The scrum set for the uh, knock on by O'Neill. He is having an awful lot of trouble with these scrums, isn't he? The penalty's gone to Canterbury. Just 10 metres out from their own line. So Lamb is able to find touch. About 35 metres out. Now here comes Tunks. 
Spinning around his ankles. Rather poor handling, but no knock on. Sergeant. He's lost it behind him. Six tackles, restarted, touched by Canterbury. Thomas turning it back inside for Curry. And Mortimer. Good pass to link up with Paul Dunn. Back inside for Olchen. And play inside the South Sydney quarter now. Pressure for the Rabbitohs as the, Can the Canterbury Bulldogs spin it out to Lamb. A one-handed pass along the ground, picked up by Sargent. Across field of Olchen. Back for anyone. Mortimer's got it. Olchen. McCarthy. Long pass to Robin Thorne. And Thorne is in the score. Well, that's going to be an interesting decision to see, in fact, if Mortimer did pick that ball up cleanly. That's the key to this one. Steve Mortimer, when the pass came back from Steve Folks. Well, let's just watch it on the uh, State Bank replay. The start of it is Lamb cutting through and then throwing the ball anywhere. It's picked up by Sargent. Throws the ball to Thomas. They go through. Olchen's there. Folks gets it. Drops it now. Look at, did he knock it on? There was a player's head in the way there. I couldn't see that. Anyway, the ball goes out to Thorne. And Thorne goes in for the try. We'll see it from another angle and we'll see exactly what uh, it'll show. Again, Lamb going through, passing to nobody. It goes to ground at that point. It's picked up by Sargent. Out to Thomas. Thomas gets it away to Alchin. Alchin to Folks. Folks drops the ball behind him. Now there's Mortimer again on the ground, directly behind somebody. It's a bit hard, isn't it? And the long pass out to Thorne to uh, go in for the try. Well, here we might get to see it on this. It was one of those little tiny things that could make a referee look bad. And uh, we'll have to just wait and see on this one. Here it comes again now shortly. Here's Folks. He drops the ball behind him. And does the ball get knocked on by... Well, I don't believe it did. I don't believe it did. I believe he put his hand on top of the ball. We'll log that as a, a good decision by the referee. The meanwhile, the goal's been kicked. Beautiful kick it was from the touchline. Beautiful kick from Terry Lamb. And it's now 10 points to 6, Canterbury over Souths. Restart from Allison. for Curry now to bring this ball out for the Bulldogs. Plenty of ball movement in the game in this first half. McCarthy. As these sides continue to try and catch each other out out wide. And both these sets of forwards determined to get on top of each other. Lamb looking for touch. It's going to be a good kick too. State Bank replay showing that Terry Lamb's still got the uh, the boot going nicely. When in doubt, kick out, and uh, he's doing very well with it, making plenty of yardage. Well, both these forward packs determined to come up with big hits on each other. Yes, they are, Graham. They're, uh, they're not content just to put the ball down, but of course there's a necessary offshoot of that, and that means that they're going to miss some tackles. If you go in to hit someone hard, not just to put him down, you are going to miss the odd one, and that's happening. Do you think there should be a little bit more support for the forwards around the rucks when they're carrying the ball? Yes, the forwards are getting tired, but it's been a game played at a frantic pace, and I suppose they can't be in two places at once, but it's out wide, like South Sydney here. That's where the game's going to be won and lost, that allied with kicking game and keeping possession. Well, they had the advantage out wide, but it was the forwards that were carrying the ball. Lucky a bit of speed out there. Again, they swing it wide. The Jura, Neville. Nowhere to go on the last tackle. Coleman. He's got support. He hasn't elected the kick. Longbottom. Back in field for Maven, who couldn't handle it. Having trouble with the hands today. Second major mistake. He's come up with his hands. Steve Maven. Nearly half time. Neither side can afford any mistakes at the moment. Dunn just settling play down. Mortimer doing a lot of talking to the forwards. Gets Gillespie to come off him this time. 
pass by Alston. Campbell taking on Adam O'Neill. He has Curry backing up. The pass was going for Curry, but it's gone astray again. So still is that time for South Sydney to come up with something just before the break. Coleman, the dummy. Now he finds Neville. He looks for support. Wisely hangs onto the ball. Coleman switching play for Jura. They've got some numbers if they can shift it. Blake sights an opening up the middle. Back out for Andrews. Blake again. Curry's there to wrap him up. There won't be time for one tackle. Should bring a halt to the play in the first half. The long ball from Jura. Finds Chisholm. Wrapped up by Darren McCarthy. And that'll see the end of the action in the first 40 minutes. A lead to Canterbury Bank Sound by 10 points to 6 over South Sydney. Welcome back to the uh, Sydney Football Stadium. Uh, State Bank big game with the halftime score. Canterbury Banks down leading South Sydney by 10 points to 6. No changes to either side, I understand, Billy Anderson? No, no changes. Uh, both sides, coaches, George Piggins and Phil Gould, concerned over the number of handling errors. They felt that the team that's going to win this one will be the one that controls the ball the best. George Piggins also stressed the necessity for his back line to get a bit deeper. He thinks there are opportunities out there. Phil Gould's team, the Bulldogs, they're going to use a big kicking game. There's a slight breeze in their favour in this second half. And we're underway with that second half as Ellison gets things underway. Straight down to Olchen. Campbell's with him. First half tacklers, Boyle and Fennick showing the way for Souths. And Folks and Sargent, the best of the Canterbury defenders. There was a big first half from Steve Folks. I kept my eye on Folks. Whenever Les Davidson was on the charge, whenever he was trying to look to unload for supports, Folks was always going up high to try and make sure he didn't get that pass away. Well, Lamb sending this down to Phil Blake. And immediately, Blake attempts to put it back, but it was touched in flight by a Canterbury player. Tunks can't pick it up. Who's got it? fennick has got it for South Sydney. Now, what will the Rabbitohs do? Here's Dura. Just inside the uh, Canterbury half. Penalty's gone to Souths. Canterbury up inside the five metres. Ellison, I suppose, will have a shot for, yes, he's decided to have a shot for goal. He's right in front, but he's uh, a little way out. Here's Ellison's attempt. Well, he's hit it magnificently. Beautiful kick from Ellison. They bring South Sydney to it. Yes, it brings South Sydney to within two points of Canterbury. It's ten points to eight. Just the two points in it. 10-8 in favour of the Bulldogs. Chisholm, he's lost it. Been recovered by Longbottom. The advantage still to be played. Lamb now in possession for Canterbury. Plenty of yardage lost for Canterbury, but they have possession. Mortimer, out of dummy half, looking for the gap. Links up with Curry. Couldn't get the pass away. Never was in between he and the outside backs. Mortimer again, running a lot more from dummy half now. Trying to link up with players. Gillespie. Well, that long ball went to nobody. Longbottom, the try line. Lamb's coming across. Is he going to get there? He does. He was coming across. Longbottom nearly ran out over touch himself, I think. Slant back replay. Longbottom scoops up a drop ball and takes off. And I think he's made an error. I think he should have kicked back inside. Certainly should have stayed away from the sideline because Lamb was always going to get him. He didn't really try to put any pressure on the tackle of Lamb. Just got him by that last step, though. Mortimer. Campbell with very, very little room to move. Joe Thomas. Back for Dunn. Very bunts this Canterbury side. Alshon. Now they're out of their quarter. Sergeant. Bill, do you think Mortimer's going to the dummy half position far too much? Far too much he is, Graham. Joe Thomas is, is a player that's played some hooker and he's doing a good job for Canterbury, but he's not getting into dummy half as much as I'd like. The reason Canterbury's bunched is basically they don't have a consistent first receiver. That's where Mortimer's got to be. He's got to get his forwards working off him. 
Well, they've come up with a good yardage through that kick from Terry Lamb, though, South Sydney. Right back on their quarter line now. This is where both sides have not really been holding possession the way they should be. They've been coming up with a number of mistakes. Davidson. Shaping the pass. Boyle. Bounces off Gillespie, but Joe Thomas wraps him up. The ball played at 40 metres out. Blake with a kicking game, looking for touch into the Canterbury quarter line. Alshon's going to beat the ball to touch and bring it back. He's going to have the support. Well, he runs away from his support and brought down on his own quarter. That's where he's playing it. Now Canterbury holding that two-point lead. He's content to work things upfield before they put something on. Here's Sergeant. Pulled by Ellison. Lamb returning the kick now. Blake is there for it. Can't beat the tackle of Curry though. And he'll play it just five metres short of the halfway mark. Adam O'Neill, good run. Excellent run from O'Neill. Coleman, now Dura. Long floating ball for Longbottom. Red though by Thorne and McCarthy. Here's Dura again. Fennick and Boyle slipping it back nicely for Coleman. Coleman's linking up now with O'Neill. O'Neill to the quarter line. Things starting to liven up for South Sydney as Fennick links up with Coleman and then to Davidson. And Davidson is getting a pass to Ellison. Ellison crashed to the ground. Last tackle now. Penalty has been given to South Sydney and the fans boo as Fennick charged over the line. Well, Mario is looking in amazement. I think you'll find on the replay that... The penalty was given and all the players had come to a halt. See it for yourself. Now, the penalty's Mar already been given there. Mario Fennec charges off. He's done what I used to do during my career. I scored some superb tries after the whistle had gone. Absolutely superb. Not many when the play was on, but plenty in that area. Now, Mario was milking it there on that occasion. He's got no right to do that. The penalty had been awarded. Mark Ellison's record today. Two from three. This one from... In line with the right hand upright, and Bronco Dura is in trouble in, down the back, being attended and being up from the field. As Ellison's kick is straight between the posts, and we've got a football game that is all tied up. Ten all between South and Canterbury. Bronco Dura in trouble on the sideline. As. Uh, Lamb recovers. What's the story, Bill? Michael Blake wearing 27. He's going to the sideline now. Dura will be in the head bin, and Blake's a very solid player. Okay, Dura in the head bin. The game all square. And South Sydney in possession. 32 metres out. A crowd here of almost 19,000 people today. 18,835 to be precise. Now, Ultra running across to cut this off, but the ball takes a wicked off break and beats him into touch. Yes, it's a, it's a pretty useful kick, this one. Lands about 10 metres in, takes the big break. Wish we had a spin bowler that could do that for the Australian cricket team, but uh, it's a good one, a good game. So the scrum down about uh, 25 metres up. Gone with the feed, here's Lamb. Curry intercepted. Intercepted South Sydney on the charge, but again that ball was touched by Canterbury and they've able to thwart another South Sydney raid. <sighs> Nail-biting stuff. Just short of the quarter line now. Here's Tunks. Sergeant. Good run from Sergeant. He's put in a big effort today. And there's Paul Langmack called to the sideline. As Mortimer's kick is downfield for Maven. Maven got away from Lamb, but ran into trouble.
The word from the sideline is that Mark Sargent is the player who will be replaced in the Canterbury side. Here's Davidson. Wrapped up. 35 metres out from the South Sydney line. Fennick from dummy half. Lost the ball. Picked up by Robin Thorne. Almost got away. Tackle by Maven again. And it was required because he can move. Well, he's offside. <laughs> Mario says thanks for the pass to Steve Mortimer. <laughs> he looks in amazement, but he was only still just coming back onside. Have a look for yourself. Yeah, State Bank replay. That really, there he is. He's so far offside. Uh, he was numbered among the Canterbury players, actually. So uh, that's unfortunate for Mario, but uh, it's a penalty to Canterbury. And a much needed penalty. South with the team that started to get onto a bit of a roll. Canterbury Banks down looking very, very tired. Playing Mac is the fresh man still on the sideline trying to get on. For this man, Mark Sargent, taking the ball up. Bouncing off tackles. Setting up play for Canterbury. There's those handling errors. 13 to Canterbury, 11 to Souths. Folks, Mortimer on the run around for Paul Dunn. Pops the ball up for Gillespie. Picked up by Longbottom. Longbottom stretching away. Campbell's chasing. He's cutting him down. Longbottom towards the quarter line. Great tackle from Campbell. Quick play of the ball now for South Sydney. It's been kicked in the play of the ball and into touch. And McCallum will bring it back for the penalty for South Sydney. Yes, that was a magnificent sprint. The best of rugby league, that was. The best of possible rugby league. A great sprint by uh, uh, the player Longbottom and a perfect tackle there coming in from Campbell who grasped him. Uh, the attempt to uh, kick the ball dead was uh, not on because he'd come in from around the side. Another kick for Ellison. This will put South Sydney in front if they can get it. Long way out. Phil Gould, the man with the problems now for Canterbury Banks down. They were looking tired. They've made a lot of mistakes. A ton of action now from one end of the field to the other in the last few moments. Ellison to take this kick from touch. He thanks the effort from Mark Sargent. Let's see what Paul Langmack can come up with now. Man trying to recapture his form that saw him go away with the Kangaroos in 86. There he is there. Man noted for his ball skills. He's got to work something with these Canterbury forwards. Rumours abound that Langmack won't be staying with the Canterbury Bankstown side next year. Well, he's here for the remainder of this second half. That's obvious. Ellison from touch. Three from four. Ah, oh, he's met that superbly. Great goal from Allison. It's taken South Sydney to the lead. The Rabbitohs, 12-10 over Canterbury. Word is the Bronco Dura won't be coming back. Heavily concussed. Now what can they do with Land. Beautiful tackle. There's Neville around the ankles. Canterbury still on the attack. Back for Mortimer. For Thomas. Back for Langmack. With the South Sydney defence. Working very well. Now Gillespie. Oh, lovely tackle. Six tackle now for the Bulldogs. Lamb puts the bomb in the air. Up they go for it. Blake's taken it beautifully. Yes, you can't doubt uh, Blake's uh, courage on a situation like that. He took that perfectly, really turned his body to the side and uh, took the impact of Lamb coming through. It was a perfect take. Just great. So now South Sydney with that 22-metre tap restart. They've used up two tackles. Neville. Jason Moon on the sideline. He understand to replace Steve Maven at the first opportunity. Here's Fennick. South Sydney getting away with a few one-handed little passes now, short ones. A little bit more adventurous. That Ooh. kick is a beautiful one. One bouncing over the touchline. Yes, Mark Ellison comes up with an absolute ripper there. I mean, that's uh, got to be the kick of the day for Territory. It uh, covered about 45 metres. Touch judge in at the moment. That's for the, uh, the change, the replacement. 
Maven. Maven off. On the field, yeah. And Jason Moon on. Scrum work by Mortimer for Canterbury. He's gone with the feed. Here's Lamb. Around the ankles was uh, Neville. Now Langmack. Sandy Campbell. Good run from Campbell. He's beaten three tacklers. Very good run. Tunks. Getting it away to folks. Let's check the scrums and penalties. Scrum 7-5 to Canterbury. 12-9 the penalties favour Souths. And here's McCarthy over the halfway mark. Turning it back inside for Curry. 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 Curry for the line. Defence gets there. Everybody sits down. And away he goes. Ball done. Down there. Ball done in for Canterbury. A magnificent try scored by Paul Dunn after some magnificent lead-up work by Curry. Here he comes on the burst. We'll see the full try again. But this was after the Curry run, and he surges to the line, and the defenders just can't hold him up. But here's the run. There's Curry uh, getting the pass there from the uh, a support player and really sprinting. Now, he's one of the fastest players in rugby league. He goes well and gets to within about eight metres of the line. Tackled, very well tackled by Moon, who came over the top. And as they get to their feet, here's the mid with a side of Paul Dunn coming like a runaway locomotive at X number of knots. And that was all that it needed. Paul Dunn, a good try. Indeed. Good man with figures. Paul Dunn. And Terry Lamb with a 50% record today has uh, this difficult conversion. About eight metres in from touch. Got a place right on the 22 metre line. Lamb's conversion attempt from way out great kick. Beautiful kick from Terry Lamb. Sends the Bulldogs further in front. They lead by 16 points to 12. So South Sydney will have to do it all over again. They were looking the better side in this second half and Canterbury with that try coming from deep in their own play. And Bill, rather interesting that that all started with Mortimer on one of the few occasions where he has remained uh, first receiver. Yes, and it also started way back in, in Canterbury's own territory, and they've shown themselves to be a lethal side this year, attacking from all points of the field. You could just feel the surge of play going against them, but, Graham, it was all South Sydney. They were getting a roll on, and then, as they did in a game against Canberra this year, they just pulled out a great try, the Bulldogs, to get them back into it. Well, they're not out of trouble yet. They can't afford any errors. Alshon finds a gap right up the middle. Maybe the tide is turning. South Sydney, the players now, that have to lift and look for something extra. Lamb. Out wide he'll go for Curry again. He's going to have the overlap if he can link with Thorne. Back inside for Lamb. There's still more numbers there. He's got it away to Dunn. Dunn's got support. Langmack. Langmack back. Well, it's gone back to South Sydney. Well, a try gone begging for Canterbury. They kept on pushing passes. Now it's Souths. Plenty of excitement here at the football stadium. Adam O'Neill. Very tired sets of forwards. Whenever there's a long break on, it takes for ages for the forwards to get there. Long bottom. The backs called on to do plenty of work. Davidson. Coleman. He looks for a kick. Thorns back. Takes a bad bounce. Just managed to keep it in play. Running away from Coleman. He'll beat him. Tries to straighten up. Met solidly by Andrews. Well, he didn't know where he was. He played the ball the wrong way. He just didn't know where he was. <laughs> Great play of the ball for Souths. Ellison. Coleman. Keeping it alive. Switches play. Chisholm. The ball's going everywhere. Both 
both defences struggling now as they tire. Blake injects himself. He cuts through up the middle. Still going, Blake. Well, he looked inside for the flick pass and it went astray. So at either end of the field, play breaking down as tries were on. Yes, a superb run from Phil Blake. Look at this here, but why, oh, why would he do a flick pass at the end of it? It's such a critical thing, I'll never know. I mean, he's got abundant talent. He'd beaten about four men and made a gain of about 50 metres. Uh, Bugden's come onto the field for Canterbury-Bankstown. Mark Bugden on there for Canterbury. David Gillespie's the man that's moved to the sideline. Joe Thomas naturally will drop back into the second row. So, they need... Plenty of fresh players out there. Tunks linking up with Langmack. Again, they've dropped it. Or is it going to be an arrow through the hands? It's going to cost either of these teams. The crowd trying to lift South Sydney now. As they search for a try to at least even the scores up. South Sydney really applying the pressure. A pass to Davidson that was looked forward. But to play on through the referee as Chisholm takes it over the corner line. Bulldogs sustain this pressure. They're a mile offside out wide, Canterbury. Now, South Sydney with Michael Blake playing it only 15 metres out. Here's Coleman. The little kick ahead there for O'Neill, but the quick kick is uh, going to find touch. Yes, Coleman on the State Bank replay gets a little kicky foot behind the Canterbury defence because they were so far offside in that previous move that uh, they looked like they were in the South Sydney back line. And uh, he thought he could get the kick in behind, but he couldn't. Mortimer works it. It's gone with the feet. Coleman takes him. They're only 10 metres out from the Canterbury line. Campbell, caught by Finnick and Boyle. Lamb, caught by Ellison, right on the Canterbury 22, Tunks, Andrews was around his ankles, again the South Sydney defence working in pairs, Mortimer, down for Moon, Oh, Moon's made an awful mess of it. Oh, I can't believe it. He said knock back. Well, that's a poor decision, I believe, from Greg McCullum. Well, let's have a look. There it goes. He's knocked that ball sideways and forward, so there's no question about it, in my view. But uh, we're a long way away from here. Now, South Sydney desperately trying to get back into this game. Blake takes it up and gets a penalty. Done up inside the five metres. And Ellison will try to find touch. He needs a good touch finder here. They're running out of time. They've got to get themselves set and play some football in uh, Canterbury Bankstown's half. Well, he's found it about 10 metres inside. 16 12 the score. Canterbury leading by four. Boyle. Davidson. A one-handed pass back for anyone. North South Sydney reserves getting ready, Bill. Yes, Harrington getting ready. He'll be taking the place of Chisholm, who's got the ball now, and Lyons will be going on. Neville will be the player to come off. Lyons is in 19. Here's Coleman. And Blake. Blake to the quarter line. Still going. Still going, the long ball up for Adam O'Neill. O'Neill is just pushed into touch, but the pass has been ruled forward in any case. But exciting stuff at the football stadium. It's going to be an interesting one to see. We won't pick it up from this angle. Blake wheels a pass out there to O'Neill, and the little fellow did everything he could possibly do, but it was all too late because uh, the referee had called it forward back there about seven or eight metres before. Well, again, they're having trouble with these scrums and he's been having trouble all day he's trying to get them set they've been moving off the mark screwing around as Mortimer works it again no problems gone with the feed caught by Andrews now Lamb <laughs> but 
captain from Dummy Half. Dunn up over the quarter line. Tunks runs into Davidson. Thirty-two metres out from the Canterbury line. Lamb sends it downfield. Moon's waiting for it. Oh, and it's going to beat Moon. Well, Moon has only been on for about 10 or 15 minutes, but he really has had an awful period, hasn't he? Yes, he has. He's uh, withered and dithered and stumbled and fumbled around, and that occasion there is going to cost him a lot of acreage. And uh, he probably felt he couldn't go there for the ball on the risk of touching it and knocking it over the sideline. That's probably the motivation behind it, but why? I don't know. Well, he was lucky to get away with that, what we thought was a knock-on before. South coming up with possession. Lions brushing off tackles out wide. The bounce comes up well for Michael Blake. Out to Adam O'Neill. Having to go back in field, nowhere to go. No Shepherd, says McCallum. Still going. Crossfield O'Neill linking up with Lions. Ball's going everywhere here. Still going, Lions. Players dropping off tackles. They're so tired. Phil Blake showed before he nearly set up that try for South Sydney. He's got to get involved with his pace. The little men can take over the game. Coleman, Fennick, off the ground. He wasn't tackled. Gone astray. Canterbury come up with possession. Time running out for South. They really do have to keep trying to force this football. Langmack flicking it. 16-12 the Bulldogs over the Rabbits. Halchin. Mortimer directing traffic there at dummy half. Trying to get some more effort out of his players. McCarthy. <laughs> 30 metres out. The Bulldogs clinging to this four-point lead. Folks, certainly one of Canterbury's best forwards today. <coughs> Tunks. Just killing play. Last tackle. Will they search for a field goal even or just try and keep play down here? Mortimer, switch for Lamb. Lamb trying to link up with Langmack. Flicks it out for Langmack. He just offers the pass for Boyle, though. Didn't look where he was throwing that one to. So this game is still alive. South's going wide straight away. Davidson. Lions. Tackle by Mortimer. Kennedy players aren't off him yet. Davidson. Well, I still look for Phil Blake. He's got to get involved. Harrington. Lions. Ken South finished the stronger. Canterbury certainly looking tired in defence. Boyle trying to run away from Lamb. The flick pass back for Michael Blake. Now it's with Phil Blake. Wrapped up. Well, was he tackled? No, says McCallum. Adam O'Neill. He keeps it alive. South still going. Well, he's going to call a penalty. Yes, it's a penalty gone against young O'Neill for uh, passing the ball off the ground. Here's what it was alleged. Well, I am trying to agree with him on a technicality. The back of his hands, the, of the hand holding the ball, had uh, touched the ground. So that's that. Well, it's interesting. After Straight after the Phil Blake one was the, uh, the pass before. I thought Blake was more tackled than... Adam O'Neill. Well, the rules are very specific about that. I'm just referring to the rule book there. It's uh, quite specific. The hand or arm comes in contact with the ground or the forward progress to stop the man is tackled. Canterbury to kill the time now. Inside the South Sydney quarter line. Three tries to one advantage, <coughs> but still in danger of maybe losing the game. Mortimer. Langmack on a short line for Dunn. Knocked down, back to Langmack, six more, he's got support, Campbell, try to Canterbury, in touch, says the touch judge. He's put a foot in touch. Would have been the game. Sensations here as Langmack almost pulled a, a, a game breaker right out of it. But uh, there's the touch line and there's the foot over the sideline, no question about it. The good decision by the touch judge, Sandy Campbell. And uh, it, was, uh, it was, of course, uh, the fullback that got him over the sideline. Good decision by the touch judge. Adam O'Neill coming alive out of the dummy half. 16-12. Only minutes to go. The pass goes astray for South. They've got to send it wide. They've got to keep it alive. Out the back. Ellison. Coleman. 
Long ball, touched by Canterbury. Six more tackles, but they're deep in their own territory. Desperate defence by Canterbury, and the last throw of the dice for South Sydney. Maybe into the last minute, Harrington breaks out of his own quarter line. Quick play of the ball required. Absolutely critical now, a quick play of the ball, and movement of the ball quickly. Canterbury are short out wide. They've got some numbers, they need somebody charging on. Lyons is charging on, he drags it back in. If he can look outside, he had Longbottom in support. Well, they're going to shift it. They've got numbers again. Oh, Allison has knocked on. But McCallum's going to get Paul Dunn for interfering in the play of the ball. They're not done with yet. There it was. He was reaching across to the dummy half. The crowd coming alive at the stadium. Last minute of the game. Boyle. Only seconds to go. There it is. No more action. Kettery Bankstown have run out the winners. A thriller at the stadium. Some, uh...